It was staged as the start of a new political chapter. Iran's Supreme Leader today endorsed Mahmoud Ahmadinejad's second presidential term. But cracks in the leadership are showing. Several prominent clergy boycotted the ceremony. And the Supreme Leader avoided Ahmadinejad's move to kiss his hand as is customary, leading to an awkward peck on the shoulder instead. Over the weekend, the regime staged another unconvincing show. A mass trial of about 100 prominent reformists arrested after the disputed election in June, including Mohammed Ali Abtahi, a former vice president whom CBS first spoke to in 2005 about his liberal blogging. On Saturday, Abtahi appeared gaunt and worn after six weeks in jail. He's just one of thousands arrested during the post-election protests, including students, lawyers and peaceful demonstrators. Human rights groups agree more than 300 remain in detention, and at least 30 are dead, like 19-year-old student protester Sorab Arabi. The fate of an American scholar, Kian Tajbaksh, and many others remains unknown. My heart goes out to everybody. My the Princeton academic, Hala Esfandiari, who spent three months in a Tehran jail in 2007, knows what those detained are facing. I was alone in a cell, by myself, you know, 24 hours a day, with lights on all the time. But all the repression and arrests haven't crushed Iran's reform movement, which is planning more protests in the days to come, aiming to weaken an already nervous and divided regime. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, London.